Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java programming tutorial series video. Today, we will discuss, how to determine class modifiers dynamically using Java Reflection API. Let's move ahead to Eclipse and see how this concept works. Friends. In order to determine modifiers applied on a class dynamically. Let's create a Java class. We will name it as, dog. Click finish. Let's create a default class animal in dog.java. Let's provide it a abstract modifier and making it as abstract class. Also provide dog class 2 modifiers such as, public and final. In order to determine class modifiers applied over a class at runtime. Let's create a new class by name, test. Provided a main method. Click finish. Friends. In the main method of test class. Let's determine first modifiers applied over animal class. We will first create an instance of class animal class. As, class animal class equals animal dot class. This class object has the information about animal class. It acts like a animal metadata and has information about fields, methods, constructors, modifiers etc. of animal class. We will call get modifiers method over animal class instance. It returns back a int value which we store in modifier variable. This int value contains all the information about class modifiers applied over animal class. Java.lang.reflect package has a class by name modifier. This class has few static methods which takes in the modifier int value and provides information about class modifiers. As animal class is abstract, we check it through is abstract method. If modifier dot is abstract comes out to be true. Print, class animal is declared as, abstract. As animal class is not final, we check it through is final method. Here, modifier dot is final comes out to be false, so we negate it by exclamation to make it true. And print class animal is not declared as final similarly we check with his static method Let's go ahead and run the Java program. It prints. Class animal is declared as, abstract. Class animal is not declared as, final. Class animal is not declared as, static. All the if statements got executed as, animal class is abstract but not final and static. Let's move ahead and perform this checks on dog class.
we will first create an instance of class dog class. As class dog class equals dog dot class. This class object has the information about dog class. It acts like a dog metadata and has information about fields, methods, constructors, modifiers, etc. of dog class. Similarly, we will call get modifiers method over dog class instance. It returns back a int value which we store in modifier variable. This int value contains all the information about class modifiers applied over animal class. As dog class is public, we check it through is modifier dot is public method. If modifier dot is public comes out to be true. Print class dog is declared as public. Moving ahead. As dog class is final, we check it through is modifier dot is final method. If modifier dot is final comes out to be true. Print class dog is declared as final. Similarly, we check with is static method. Let's go ahead and run the Java program. It prints. Class dog is declared as public. Class dog is declared as final. Class dog is not declared as static. All the if statements got executed as dog class is public, final but not static. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that how to determine class modifiers dynamically using Java Reflection API concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.